Let's quickly talk about one of the S1R2's overlooked benefits, that's moir control. The main reason it's so good at controlling situations like this is because it can actually resolve all of this fine detail in my jacket. So even fairly high resolution sensors like the one on the S1H that have an optical low pass filter in front of them can still face issues that you're seeing here. So I'm gonna swap cameras and grab the S1H and see what it looks like in this exact shot. So here we are in the S1H. You can still see it a bit here on my jacket. So now I'm gonna to switch to the S1R2 and see how it handles the situation. All right, we are on the S1R2 now, same exact recording mode, same lens, same focal length. Uh, I'm having a hard time seeing any issues on my monitor. I'm recording in a mode that reduces the amount of more I usually seen on these cameras. So now let's take a look at some examples on the S1H and the S5 II when I'm shooting in 4K 60P in APS-C mode um, compared to the S1R2. So I know this is just one small benefit of the camera and it's gonna matter to some of you more than others, but I just wanted to make it known. I do hope this helps some of you out when you're considering the S1R2, specifically for video work. Let me know if you have any questions.